Right then. So, it just mentions here at the bottom, there is an exception, that's at the top, if L and X is one of the terms, you need to differentiate it. So I'm going to differentiate L and X. So my U is L and X, and my DV DX is X. The reason being is you don't know what integrating L and X gives you. But you will do in a couple of pages. So if I differentiate L and X, it's 1 over X. If I integrate X, it's a half X squared. So using the formula, which if you write it out every time, it's useful. So UV is then two times together. So it's a half X squared L and X, I'll tidy it up, minus the integral of these two times together. So that's a half x squared times by 1 over x. Now what happens in the exam is you get dead stressed and you integrate the x squared and then you integrate the 1 over x. What's important is you kind of stop and you tidy up. You can't kind of stress that enough. So you need to stop and tidy up. So I've got a half x squared L and x. Now if you look, the x will cancel. So I've just got an integral of a half x. So that will give me a half x squared L and x minus, now the x is going to become an x squared over 2. I already have a half of it, so it's going to be a quarter x squared plus 6. There we go. So I'll do similar with this one. So I differentiate the log 3x and I integrate the 2x, which is what I think this box does here. There we go. So it's 3 over 3x, which cancels that. So I put it into my formula. So uv, so uv is then 2, so it's an x squared uh, ln 3x. And then v u dx is x squared times 1 over x, which cancels down as an x. And then I integrate it and I get the right answer. And that's good. All very nice. Right then. This one's proper sneaky. So this one's like, it's a cheat, this one, really. Because how can you use uh, integration by parts if you've only got one bit? Well, I'm a bit sneaky and I say. It's one lot, L and X. So I choose U to be L and X. So DU DX is 1 over X. And I choose DV DX to be 1. So V is X. And I put it in the formula, which I write out every time. I've got X L and X minus the integral of x times by 1 over x. So x L and x minus the integral of 1 dx. So if I integrate the 1 minus x plus c. Like that. And that's it. So now, it's, so now you know how to integrate log. It's x L and x minus x. Uh, there's some consolidation questions which we'll work out in, um, in the lesson. So well done everyone. Bye bye.